Hello. Who's with me? Hi, Tina. How are you? I'm just pulling everything up. Okay, we're going to make a wreath. I'm using a 15 inch wreath base. And I'm doing the ruffle technique, but I'm adding uh, two of each in each section. Hi, Sherry. Then I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be taking one of these little Dollar Tree St. Patrick's Day hats. And we're going to change it up. We're going to turn it into a little beehive. My bee didn't come in. My big mesh didn't come in. So I have a sign I can use. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm, I'm just not sure what, where we're going to put it yet. Um, I have 13 inch tails. Several colors that complement the sign and the colors that I'm using in the wreath. And I rubber band my phone to this little holder so it doesn't pop off tonight. Because last night, or the night before, we had it pop off three times. So, okay, and hopefully everybody will be able to see. Can everybody hear me okay? I hope so. All right, I'm trying to think what the name of this mesh was. Um, I have another one. It's a poly burlap mesh, 10 inch. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm using my easy bow holder because I'm scrunching one, each ruffle up one at a time, but I'm, since I'm using two at a time, I'm putting it in here to hold it. What are you laughing at, Sherry? It's about my phone falling off. It's not gonna fall off tonight. That was so embarrassing. I had my teacher watching me, and that phone popped off that display three times and landed on the table. And I'm not going to let it happen again. So, she's got a contest going for Amiibo, and Amiibo would be nice to have. Hi, Nanny Dot. Just to recap, we're using a 15-inch wreath base. And because I really want to disguise this um, frame, I'm adding two ruffles at a time in each section. It's yellow and black, and we're going to take a Dollar Tree hat, and we're going to change it up. We're going to make it into a beehive. Was it in slow motion? <laughs> oh, that was so embarrassing. I told her, I said, I'm winning the Mevo, right? Because I don't want to deal with this stinking phone on this thing anymore. She said yes, but that doesn't mean I'm going to win it. <laughs> so, hardworking mom. She's got a great um, success path that I've been following, and she's been awesome. We do bow Sundays, where we do two hours of making bows, all different kinds of bows, different colors, different sizes. Um, use the pro bow, we use the easy bow. And sometimes we do some by hand. But this just is nice for holding on to these. So I can put them in there in the base. Hi, Thelma. Sherry's on. Nanny Dot's on. Tina's on. And if you type in live in the comments, the robot on my Facebook page should uh, contact you every time I'm going to go live. When you type in live... You just answer the questions.
I'm doing the ruffle method. I'm, I'm folding up the end just a little bit. I'm trying to prevent a lot of fraying because sometimes this stuff can fray. And it took me all day today, mostly, until my wreath class at one o'clock to download my last video on YouTube. So I now have a YouTube channel. I love these colors together. Boy, it really pops. How's everybody's day going? raining out and now they're talking 50 mile an hour winds tomorrow um, looking at my phone and it looks like everybody can see the see the table better I moved it to the side of the table instead of in the middle because in the middle everybody was looking at the top of my head I had three in the class today. Two made St. Patty's Day Reese, and Carol made a bunny. The bunny turned out really cute. I'll be posting pictures tomorrow. Man, this yellow is so striking. Okay, got more cut underneath the table. You on break, Sherry? Or are you home? And get the ones that are close to the end of the roll. Boy, they really stick together. And next week we're doing the carrot class. Carol's going to come back because she wants to make another bunny. This is an elevated wreath base, which is nice because it kind of goes upward. Gives you a little more height to your design. Hi, Brenda. Brenda's another one of my puppy moms. How's my paw babies? I have Precious in the house. She's being boarded. It's a 15 inch wreath base, Tina. I think I got this one from Craft Outlet. I just got an order today from Trendy Tree. I had ordered a special, there was a lady on Etsy that makes um, primitive, like, I won't call them stuffed animals, but she makes the cutest bees, and I wanted the bee for this wreath. And of course, it didn't come in. So, see how by doubling up on those, I'm actually disguising the wreath base more now. You're probably going to see it with the the angle and the light behind it, but that's what I'm trying to accomplish. Now we got eight, so I should have just to hold it in place so I can do the next one. And I did all the cutting ahead of time because I'm not sure how long it's going to take us to do the um, beehive. In fact, might as well plug this sucker in 
because we're going to need that later. I did manage to find a couple of bees at Michael, or no, AC Moore. They were only like 25 cents a piece. It's not the one I wanted for my, for my wreath, but it'll do. I'll wait till it arrives and then I'll swap them out. <laughs> really being careful with this glue gun because I do not want to burn my hand again. I know, right? For 25 cents, I thought that was awesome. They were back there in the aisle that they carry um, wood pieces and they were already painted. Because I found one at um, Target and it was in the dollar bin section and you have to paint it yourself and it was a dollar so for those being 25 cents a piece because I thought the sign said a dollar and I thought well I'll get them because my other bee hasn't come in but then um, when I got outside and checked my receipt it said 25 cents so what the heck the colors I need so okay. boy this thing is bright makes it feel like spring instead of the dreaded weather we've been having Finally, the, the orange mesh came in so I can finish my other um, St. Patrick's Day wreath. And I sold the chick with the bunny slippers. I sold that wreath. I sold another farmhouse one today. And Jill, who was in my class, saw my new farmhouse wreath that I been messing with that I, I think I have it where I want it and now she wants that one too so woohoo get to buy more ribbon <laughs> Tina have you been up to surplus city because they have wreath bases up there and their 10 inch mesh is, is pretty comparable to some of the prices I've been paying. They just didn't have a very big selection on their work wreath frames and their work wreath frames were $6.99, which I thought that was a lot. Boy, you aren't gonna see the wreath base through these. That's for sure. One, two, three. We got four more. This black is just a poly mesh. I cut them in 18 inches. girls in my class today thought that sounded like when we're scrunching this up they thought it sounded like um, little mice were crawling all over I did in the comments put a link to my Etsy page I have a lot of signs on there and a lot more coming 
Um, I got a flamingo sign coming. I've got pineapple ones coming. Hi, Rachel. There's one of my daycare kiddos. She's in college now. Oh my gosh, that makes me feel so darn old. Girl, ah, what I do? I put two black next to each other. That was wrong. There. I need a yellow there. If you type in live in the comments, Rachel, it'll let you know every time I go live. I'm down in the old daycare room. It doesn't look the same anymore. It looks like a mini Michaels store. We're doing the ruffle method. We're making a bee wreath. And we're going to be making a beehive out of a Dollar Tree St. Patrick's Day hat. Rachel was one of my little sweeties. Still is my sweetie, but she's bigger now. Right, Rach? Okay. And another yellow and then a black. And then we're done with base. Push it down. are some bright colors I know right thank you who else we got on here hello Janice welcome if you type in live in the comments my Facebook robot will let you know every time I go live we're working with a 15 inch wreath base I'm doubling up on the ruffles just so I can hide the wreath base. I'm putting two in each section. So I've actually used two rolls of a 10 inch mesh. This one is 10 yards, so I've used 10 yards of the yellow, 10 yards of the black. And I'm folding up the edges a little bit just to handle some of the fraying. Because we all know sometimes this stuff can fray. All right, we're putting our last one in. Very pretty. Woohoo! All right, now I think what we'll do before we make our beehive, I think we'll go ahead and put our tails in. Now, my tails are at 13 inches. And I've dovetailed the end of each one. Now with these, what we do is we fold them in half, crunch them up in the middle, but then we do this to give them a little bit of a curve so it curves, it adheres to like the, the wreath better. All right, so this one is going in the yellow. position them. I hope you guys can see it. Maybe if I move the computer back a little. There. Again, these are 13 inches. I've got a two and a half inch and then a one and a half inch on top of that. Wow, look at those polka dots. They really pop. And this is a quadrifoil. And there we've got the one with the bee on the bottom. Hi, Carol. I was telling him he made a bunny wreath today. Turned out awesome. We're going ahead and we're doing the wreath base first, and then we're going to make our beehive out of 
the St. Patty's hat from the Dollar Tree. Curbing them. I was just going to make the beehive and show you another thing you could do with it, but I thought, you know what, that's not going to show them what it's going to look like on a wreath. So I really was hoping my little bee, my cutie bee, was going to be in in time, but we'll just go ahead without it. When it comes in, I can change it up. If the wreath isn't sold the way it is, I'll, or I'll make another one. I'll put a link to it in my uh, comments so you guys can see what it, what it looks like. It is the cutest little bee. I thought the lady makes them and sends them right out, but I found out it takes two to three weeks. So, and it's something I could buy the pattern and do myself, but for what I was doing, I just wanted it ahead of time. And for those just joining us, we went ahead and rubber band the phone to the holder so it doesn't pop off during the live like it did what was it, Thursday night? Popped off three times. It's not having that happen again. And I do have a YouTube channel. I can post later on in the comments the link to that. And it took me six hours to download my video from Thursday night. Ugh, sometimes I'm so technically challenged. I think the next live is going to be a peeps wreath. I got some really cute peeps. And I'm going to make a sign to go with the wreath. Okay. No, Tina, it wasn't very good. I was surprised at the prices they were charging for the 21-inch rolls. That's just outrageous. I'm going to put a layer of tails on the top row, too. And then after we get our tails done, we'll work on our beehive. I think this angle is better for the camera too. So I got a lot of feedback today in class about my head was in the view of the camera most of the time. Probably has something to do with being tall. Okay, now we'll start on the next layer, the top layer. Put it in the wrong one. There we go. No, getting a 
I mixed up here. Hi, Marty. Marty was in class today with Carol and Jill. Marty made a St. Patty's Day wreath. Thank you, Janice. How's that color looking, Marty? It is stunning. You can leave your ties up or you can curl them under if you don't want them to see peek out <laughs> I bet you Dollar Tree is all sold out of their little hats by now I had a bunch here Marty and Jill both put one in their wreath with a little sign and then we made a real pretty bow I'll be posting pictures of those probably tomorrow. Okay. They got to do tails. They got to do the ruffle method. They learned a lot this time around. You should come, Tina. We have a good time. Yep, four kinds of ribbon, Marty. Two at um, two and a half inch and two different ones at one and a half inch. All right, we got all our ribbons on, our ta tails. Ugh. See how long that stays there. All right, this is what I did. I took all this off. Um... It has a brim. The brim pops off. There's a lot of, um, they just weave this in and out all the way around. So what I did was I just pulled all this off and got rid of it. So in order to make the beehive, I found this faux jute tubing. It's not like most of the tubing that we use. It's not real glittery. It's kind of, it's not solid, but it's not real see-through either. And then I have an old Christmas ball here that I'm just putting on the top. Now, because this section is separating a little bit, I'm actually going to reinforce it with a zippy tie because I don't want it, after I have the whole thing together, I do not want it coming apart. We all know I've got plenty of zippy ties. There. Now, I am probably going to put a little bit of hot glue around here because I really want this to stay in place. And because my hot glue gun has caused me so many injuries, I now have a glass bowl of aloe on my tabletop. And before we start any class, I make sure everybody knows where it is. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit in here just to kind of like caulk it in place. Let's see what I did. I took all the tinsel stuff off. 
and then pop the brim off because I'll even show you another trick you can do with it too but I thought this would I really wanted to show you that bee how it would go and what's nice about this you actually can run a thin piece of wire in here and then attach it to your wreath and because it's lightweight it's not real bulky it'll sit nice on that wreath all right we'll we'll finish this up because i already tied it in there and now i'm looping it around and in a few places i'm giving it a dot of glue i'm not pulling it tight because i want it to keep that loose look I am going to put my uh, fingers on because <laughs> not getting a second degree burn on this finger again. You could even use the end of your scissors or something to hold it in place. Can everybody see it okay? Because I'll tell you, it's hard to find a nice... Um, beehive to put on your bee wreath. You don't got a lot of choices out there. So we're going to make our own. I can get the link to these fingers and post them tomorrow too because they are awesome. You do not get burned. So it's just a matter of just keep winding it around till we get it all covered. I was going to cover it with um, some fabric, but it made it kind of bulky. And then I wasn't able to get my um, wire in there to put it on the wreath. So by using this, just this, I'm, I'm creating an avenue to, um, you know, add the wire. See how it's looking so far? Haha, you can't burn me. All right. We got more of this stuff. Let's just find the end. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. And I think what I'll do is I'll put that down in and then glue it out here. Because I really don't want an end that's going to fray. Because this stuff can fray. Is that going to go? I know it's tedious. Sorry, guys. That's okay, Janice. It'll be on. You'll be able to see it. And then tomorrow I'll spend another six hours posting it on my YouTube. There's got to be an easier way. I'm going to find it. really wanted to do this ahead of time but if I did it ahead of time then you wouldn't have seen how it's put together so and I think I got 
this from the the jute tubing from um, Trendy Tree. And I don't know if you have to have a tax ID number for that. I mean, I know I have an account there, but I think it's because I have a tax ID number. There's a girl online on YouTube that does nothing but... Um, make things with Dollar Tree items. I should probably send her this video because I don't think this is one she's tried. She has some amazing videos. I think it's Southern Girl or something like that. We're getting closer to the top. Janice, it's from a Dollar Tree um, leprechaun hat. We took off the rim, took all the tinsel off, and then we stuck a Christmas ball, we inverted it, and stuck a Christmas ball inside. did zippy tie the top because when I put the Christmas ball in there it started to come apart a little there so I wanted to make sure it stayed in place Sorry again, it's taken so long. Of course, everything on my table is sticking to the jute. If you guys don't mind sharing in the comment, you know, push the share button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, like my page, type in live if you want to get alerts. I'm 
I'm going to sit down a minute, ladies. I'm standing at this table for most of the afternoon. Really starting to feel it. These are not your typical rubber fingers. They're actually heat. Protect your fingers from heat. Looking cute so far. Every now and then let me know you're there because sometimes this Facebook has a way of pooping out on us. There was one night I spent 15 minutes talking to myself. <laughs> Until I realized nobody was there and when nobody commented on the wreath, I thought, oh my gosh, they didn't like it. They left. I didn't know that it bombed. So, because <laughs> I can't hear anything, I can only see your comments. We're getting near the end. Does it look like a beehive? You could use even um, some kind of roping. I had a real heavy duty rope, but this seemed more flexible to me than the um, you know, than the, the rope itself. It's getting easier towards the top now because I can just glue it right to the ball. Got any cubbies on tonight? That's um, our marketing group. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. Use the finger. Get out of yourself. Oh, and couldn't you see like a few little bees like sticking up above it, like little wired bees? Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. I guess I'll be looking for those next too. Look at that, put that finger right in the glue and didn't feel a thing, woohoo! And I was right in the middle of the class when I did that. It was horrible. Thank God we had finished, they had finished the wreaths and I just finished showing them how to do their bows. Look at that, oh, I love it, I love it.
Where are you going? Come on. Yeah, it's sticking to the rubber finger. That's not where I want you to go. Come on. Oh my gosh, look at that. I don't even feel it. You guys need to get yourself a pair of these. They come in this red and then they come in a blue. These are awesome. What do you think? I think it'll it'll work and like I said we're just gonna take a piece of wire maybe we'll put two pieces on then I feel a little bit better oh you know what I didn't bring it down with me but I was going to take a piece of fleece tan fleece and just glue it to the bottom so you're not seeing the frame at all but um thank you and then i thought i could i know i've seen them where they have like a little like black door you know like where they they enter so i thought i can take a, a piece of black fleece and just make a little door on the front and then put the mesh underneath now, let me move this thing out of burning range. Um, and now I'll show you what I did with, this is another idea I had for the same item. All right, I'm going to use this because I didn't take one apart. I didn't take another one apart. But I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, all right? This is... Natural big square burlap, or natural big square mesh, okay? Can you see it? All right. This is what I did. I took a piece of that, and what I was trying to do was make a basket. So I weaved these two colored ribbons, which are three-quarter inches. I weaved it in and out of that, okay? And then the lid, which I'm going to do it over because I want to add a layer of like uh, batting to it to make it sit up a little better. Okay. And then what I'll do once I finish the last row here, I will put this around here once all that stuff is off. I'm giving you a visual here because I didn't finish it. And then this will go on top once I put the batting around it. And then I can have a little flower pot or I can put some wired uh, rope up top here to make like a little handle. So it looks like a little basket. What do you think? So you got two for the price of free tonight. You got a beehive, and you've got an idea for a basket. Now this is four inch, no, three and three quarter inches. And the ribbon that I weaved in and out is three quarter inch. Okay? So there's another idea for you. Or you could stick some flowers in it to make it look like a really cute little basket instead of a bunny. You don't have to use a bunny. Now I'm looking to see, it looks to me as though this side is a little bit awkward looking. So I'm gonna stick my wire on that side. That way it'll be against the wreath and I won't see it. It won't show. Okay, so there's my one. Can't go up too far because it's got the ornament there. Maybe I should have put the wire in before I looped right there. 
We'll get it out. Where are you? There you are. There. Now I got the wire to attach it right to the wreath. And then when I cover the bottom with the, the tan mesh, you're not even going to see that blue, that green frame. So move that out of the way. Move this out of the way. And bring this back. And see, I purposely went ahead and added ribbon in here that had some of that jute color in it. So that way it matched. All right. Now again, this will be covered up. So that'll go there. I don't know if I want to use the sign, although it doesn't look bad with it. I don't know. What are your thoughts? With the sign or without the sign? Without the sign, I could put this over here. This is my thought process. You want to do this when decorating. You want to do it in a triangle shape. All right? So... You know what, if you're going to go to the dollar store in Williamsport, or the Dollar Tree, um, it's the Dollar Tree, go to the one on South Side, because the one in the Aloha Plaza is really picked over. So look at that. We could just get away with doing this, putting the black door on there, covering the bottom up, and just putting our bees around. Okay? And then put a nice big old ribbon over this side. What are your thoughts? Because I could put this on there, but I think it takes away from the cuteness that, that, that this is all showing. Let's do a nice big bow over here. I'll go ahead and make the bow. And then we'll see if we need the sign. I don't think we need it. But I, that, we'll tie that down after I do that, put our door on there, add our bees around. Now what I can do to this, I can just um, hot glue some wire to the back. I could even, no, you know what I can do? I know what I can do. Oh boy, are the ideas cooking tonight. Let me find... have this or I could use black. I know I have black pipe cleaners. I like things to pop off of it. So what I could do and the black will go with what's there already. Ooh, that's coming off. We're gonna have to glue that. No, that's not good. I guess what do you expect for a quarter? All right. I could put that on there, or I could get a stronger one and get it so it sticks up in the air. What do you think? Did you guys lose me again? Or are you still there? I'm showing six people are still on. South side. I think that'll look cute. And I don't know. I kind of like the brightness of the green, too. Just kind of make them stick up. You know what they need, though? They need some little antennas. They do. What's it be without a little curly antenna? Don't you think? I know, right? I think, give them little antennas. But I still think, to balance everything out, I just need a bow here. Let's do a bow. Or, or if we didn't want to do a bow, I'll give you another option, okay? We 
could make some curly things with this. That's what you do with the mesh anyhow. You just make curly things that stick up. What do you think of that? Because that really looks cute. And it kind of ties in with that. But yet to balance it, I think I do need a small ribbon. So let me see what we got here. We could do let's let's see. Yeah. I think make them stick up. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking this. Make the bees stick up. Give them antennas. Or... The other option would be, let's see, you can't really attach it to the sign. You could put the sign in the middle, put that there, put a B here, a here, and here. Boy, what a dilemma. <laughs> I've been on a roll all day. I feel like I rolled out of bed at 4.30 and I've just been going ever since. I don't know. Wouldn't that look cute if it was just like hanging up above that? What do you think, peoples? This would soften it. Where's your teacher when you want her? <laughs> she was on when my phone kept falling off. I kind of like this jute in here. Kind of gives it a little pizzazz. No bow? Yeah, I think I'm agreeing with you. There's a lot of stuff going on. I think we'd be better off without it. And just kind of concentrate on the bees and the jute. Because I think the jute really does look pretty in there. Just adds another dimension. It seems to look nice in with the yellow. So, I think everywhere there's a yellow, we're going to put the jute. Or we could just do the jute all the way around on the bottom. Because I think it looks good there too. Yeah, I think I think we're not gonna go with a ribbon. I think just our beehive, our bees. Cause I would have used the same color ribbon that we have in here. But I'm liking the jute with the sign. So 
See, that's why I like you guys stopping in because you can give me some input. There, get it on the floor. Yeah, and then add our bees and our beehive to the side. Thank you, guys. I think I'm going to be getting more of this juice. I kind of like it. I think it would look awesome in some farmhouse wreaths, too. It's just natural. It doesn't have that, that um, sheen that the other does. I could. I don't know if you guys watched my um, video from the other night. We made uh, four-leaf clovers, my own four-leaf clover picks. And what we ended up doing was taking the deco mesh, the green deco mesh, and threading some wire through it, and then shaping it into. Yeah, could do that too. But then I'd still have to do something in the middle up here. So I'm thinking if I took that black deco tubing, put some wire through it, and then made our bees kind of hover above, that would be kind of cute. Or maybe I'll just use this uh, deco mesh, this um, jute mesh. What do you think? Can you see that in there? It really does look nice against that. I guess I can take my finger off now that I don't have the glue going on. I'm not going to attach my beehive tonight because I really want to cover that bottom with fleece that tan fleece I have so you won't see it so I don't want to attach it and then have to pull it back out again more here. To balance it, I may put another one over here. Because I got one here. So, one, two, like three things on the top in the, in the jute. my bees. One, two. Should be another one around here somewhere. Ah, where'd he go? Okay, that's the wire. 
That's how it stuff down in here somewhere. Like I said, I do have these signs for sale. I have more. I also have a, a lot of uh, signs coming in. Um, we have flamingo one coming in, pineapples, a lot of beach ones. My beach, my beach wreath went to my girlfriend for her birthday and she absolutely adored it. Maybe there's a way I can like put it right on the sign. What do you think? There or there? Like I said, I still have to cover that bottom up. Let me see what we can do with these. I did lose a bee though. I don't know where it went. I started with three. There it is. All right, let me... Let's see, if I run a piece of wire up through this, if I can get our bees to dangle above. Hover. That's the word I wanted. Hover. Let's see. I think about like that. And this is what we did with our four leaf clovers that we made. I just ran the wire up through the mesh tubing and then shaped it into a four leaf clover. Thank you, Tina. I always tie off the end because it keeps the wire with the with the mesh and then I try to trim up the end as close to the knot as I can get. But this is not going to work, is it? There. See? Now, let's tie off this end. Need all that. I think I'm going to have to enter this in our contest this month because nobody is going to have the same thing. There's a lot of bunny wreaths. There's a lot of, a lot of. Um, Oh, there's Dollar Tree Bunny Reese. Oh my gosh, there's tons of those. Let's see. If I do that, and I attach them to that, that'll be adorable. Don't you think? All right. I gotta find my glue gun again. Yep, still plugged in. How about that? Oh, I hate this one. I'm getting a cordless, or a one that is cordless. Just trying to hold that down. Actually like this with that B. Alright. And then we need our little antlers. And ten eye. See, because this B has it. So this B's gotta have it. There. Can you tell I'm getting a little bit punchy? <laughs> oh. Thank you. It's 
been that kind of a day. Look at that. Just so he has a little wiggle to him. All right. I like it. Well, he's not wiggling like I thought he would. Needs a little, something a little stiffer. Maybe I should have used two pieces of um, wire. Next one I'll put two pieces of wire through and see if that helps. Because we got to get these guys to look like they're flying. I'm glad our wreath class today wasn't a bring your own bottle. <laughs> so I think I would be under the table by now. Because we do have bring your own bottle. I think it's a little too large. Save it for Boo Sunday tomorrow, and I'll ask the group what they think. My teacher, she does do um, critique, so I can say, what's your thoughts on that? Yep, it needs two pieces of wire. Look at that. Doesn't it look like he's like flying around? Uh, that's what I was. That's what I was after. Look at that. He's hovering. <laughs> well, he was. Crash diving. Oh my goodness. That's right. I think what I'll do is I'll try and wrap this down and wrap this up around. I'll get them there. Look at that. Okay, Natty Dot, see you. Thank you. And then there were two. And he is, look, he's hovering. So I'll have to add another piece of wire to this one.
actually I added two pieces to that one. Trying to figure out where the third one. Maybe I'll move this one down to here and then put the other one here. Then I have my triangle. I think that's better. Thanks, Tina. Talk to you soon. So is it just me and Sherry? Okay, great. All right, thanks.